Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the scarcest of the three Chagere Le Coult tribute to geophysic variants launched in 2014. A tribute fittingly, to the 1958 Chagere Le Coult Geophysic Sports Watch slash Technician's Chronometer. The modern version is upsized, upgraded, and far finer in details and materials, but it is true to the original spirit of being a go-anywhere, minimalist, technician-style chronometer-grade timepiece. On my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the watch is a relatively traditional 38.5 millimeters in diameter. The original was 35. 5.5, which is too small for modern taste, so this is scaled up without being oversized or ungainly. It's a tasteful increase in outright dimensions. The proportions, however, height to width, lug to lug, and diameter remain almost identical to the original. You will note lug to lug, this is a nicely constrained watch, as it spans a very reasonable 45.2 millimeters, and it stands only 11.4 millimeters thick, so just about anyone can wear this watch comfortably. You're also going to find that this being the platinum model, though it is a relatively compact watch, it is a hefty thing on the wrist. A full platinum case with a solid platinum case back ensures that, eyes closed, you'd swear this is a 42 or a 43. The timepiece features a robust navy blue large rectangular scale alligator leather strap, monotone stitch, sheer sides that show you the layers of construction, calfskin on the underside. You will note that it uses a matching platinum pin buckle. We know today when you buy a platinum JLC with a folding clasp, you get white gold. This is true platinum, and you can see this was the debut of JLC's latest generation JL logo alternately faceted, polished, and beveled pin buckle for easy adjustments, but a surprisingly artful and thoughtfully sculpted piece for what many would consider to be a default item often outsourced to suppliers, not a JLC. You'll also note that the case is wonderfully nuanced. First, there's a little bit of countersink whereby the bezel is sunk underneath the peaks of the lugs to thin the watch. You'll also note that the satin finish of the case band contrasts nicely with the polished hoods of the lugs, and the transitional bevel between the two is gorgeous. The ends of the lugs are pointed, geometrically formed, and squared off. The bezel itself is a combination of a domed profile, and then it has a sheer flank, so there are actually two surfaces, the sheer and then the curvature. You'll also note that there is satin all the way around about the case, and the timepiece with a minimalist dome-style polished bezel is all about its dial. Blink and you'll miss it, however. The original geophysic featured a plexiglass rather than a sapphire, and the radium loom was attached to the underside of the plexiglass. That design is echoed, though not exactly duplicated, by the use of a simulated patina acru colored loom attached to the interior of this bezel. So you can see there's an interior section to the bezel that is just as striking, with just as much character and even a little bit more color than the polished dome of the outside. The dial is actually reminiscent of the more common variant of the early geophysics. Everyone was a little surprised when the steel and rose gold, the 800 and 300 piece limited series geophysic tributes came out with the crosshair dial that was considered to be a collectible among collectibles and a rarity among rarities in the original geophysics. Instead, the 58 piece platinum version that you see here has exclusivity to the traditional twin Arabic non crosshair dial design. Why JLC decided to do that, I'm not sure. I'm not quite certain what the tactic is, but it certainly does set the platinum model apart from the others at a glance. All applique white gold indices, white gold hands, white gold Arabic numerals at 12 and 6. Lots of loom, and there will be a loom shot. Minimalist calibration. The dial is chalk white, but it is a sort of matte chalk white. It doesn't look like porcelain or enamel. It's not a gloss. Easy to read in any light. It continues to uphold the purpose of the original. Easy at a glance, functional time telling. The case back with the Geosphere emblem that was the symbol of the International Geophysic Year of 1958. So that emblem is back. Most modern JLC fans recognize it as the symbol of the Master 1000 Hours Control case back 
attestation from the 2000s and the 1990s. You will note solid case back, solid platinum. Give me a platinum case back over a sapphire any day of the week. I would much rather have $1,500 worth of platinum than a $30 sapphire, especially with an automatic movement. Now, this watch is a sports timepiece, 100 meters water resistant. The reason you can't see, even if you wanted to see, that caliber is that there is a soft iron cage Rolex Milgauss style underneath this display back. JLC is certainly not averse to giving you a display back on an automatic caliber, but with that soft iron paramagnetic cage in place to shield the hairspring from magnetism, you wouldn't see much. The timepiece does feature hacking or stop seconds. It's the caliber 898-1, which is a lot like the 899, but without the date. 43 hour power reserve, 29 joules, automatic winding, unidirectional action with a ceramic rotor bearing arrangement for high efficiency and minimal maintenance over the long term. It also uses JLC's 21st Century Spire train gear profiling for greater efficiency and lower wear, beating away at 4 hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour, and ultimately it's regulated to a higher standard in the master 1000 hours control fully cased up test. The original Geophysic was a chronometer. This one would easily ace the COSC test because unlike the 5 position bare movement test of the COSC, JLC submits the 898-1 as featured in the tribute to Geophysic to a six position test over 40 days as a fully cased up watch and the allowable timing tolerance is minus one second or plus four seconds per day, no worse. Still chronometer grade or perhaps even beyond. That's the geophysic. You can swim with it. You can wear it in any occasion, day or night, formal or casual. An all-purpose chronometer for the wrist in the modern age, one of 58 made in platinum. See this modern day classic on the watch box. And we're back with the JLC tribute to Geophysic and Platinum. You can see those dots of Luminova inside the bezel. See it by the light of day on the watch box.